with Evangelist Charlotte Thomas. Send all correspondence to Charlotte Thomas, 6803 West Boulevard, Inglewood, California, 90302. Once again, that's Charlotte Thomas, KTYM Radio, 6803 West Boulevard, Inglewood, California, 90302. And now, Evangelist Charlotte Thomas. Praise God. What a blessing it is to be in your hearing on tonight. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we thank you and praise you for life, health, strength, the activities of our limbs. We thank you for salvation and deliverance on today. Ain't nobody do us like you, dear Jesus. You are our friend. And if we do the things that you require of us, you consider us your friend in the name of Jesus. We thank you and praise you for the Bible says in all things to give thanks. And that's what we're learning more and more to do. Glory to God in the name of Jesus. We pray for all concerned around the globe. Yes, we do. We pray for those in high places, those that make laws and their officials and whatever their capacity or title may be, because we want to uh, live a quiet and peaceable life in all godliness and honesty in the name of Jesus. Glory to God. This is the day that you have made. You've allowed us to come this far by faith, leaning and depending on you those that know you in the pardon of their sin. We thank you and praise you. You've given a breath and whatever it is to people. Maybe someone out there is in pain and you say, well, evangelist, you're sitting over there talking like that and I'm in pain or distress. God is a good God. Glory to God. I don't have the remedy for you, but we do have the word of God in the name of Jesus. And we thank him for his word because it's the word that brings life, and I believe the spirit that brings life more abundantly. Glory to God in Jesus' name. Praise you, Jesus. I'm going to read some scriptures for us on tonight in Jesus' name. Father, thank you for this opportunity. Amen, amen, and amen. Pray for the peace of Jerusalem. They shall prosper that love thee. Psalm 122 and 6. Thou shalt arise and have mercy upon Zion for the time to favor her. Yea, the set time is come. Psalm 102, 13. I have set watchmen upon thy walls, O Jerusalem, which shall never hold their peace, day nor night. Ye that make mention of the Lord, keep not silence and give him no rest till he establish until he make Jerusalem a praise in the earth. Isaiah 62, 6 and 7. Beloved, I'm going to go to Matthew. These are very, very familiar scriptures, and we're just going to share the word of God with you. This is Matthew uh, 6, starting at verse 9. After this manner, therefore, pray ye, our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. For if ye forgive men their trespasses, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. But if ye forgive not men their trespasses, neither will your Father forgive your trespasses. Matthew 6, 16 Moreover, when ye fast, be not as the hypocrites of a sad countenance, for they disfigure their faces that they may appear unto men too fast. Verily, verily, I say unto you, they have their reward. But thou, when thou fast, anointest thine head, and watch thy face, that thou appear not unto them, not unto men to fast, but 
unto thy Father which is in secret, and thy Father which seeth in secret, he shall reward thee openly. Matthew six nineteen, Lay not up for yourselves treasures upon the earth, where moth and rust doeth corrupt, and where thieves break through and steal. But lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven, where neither moth nor rust doeth corrupt, and where thieves do not break through nor steal. Where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. The light of the body is the eye. If therefore thine eye be single, thy whole body shall be full of light. But if thine eye be evil, thy whole body shall be full of darkness. If therefore the light that is in thee be darkness, how great is that darkness! No man can serve two masters, for either he will hate the one and love the other, or else he will hold to the one and despise the other. Ye cannot serve God and mammon. Matthew 6, 25 Therefore I say unto you, Take no thought for your life, what ye shall eat, or what ye shall drink, nor yet for your body, what ye shall put on. Is not the life more than meat, and the body than raiment? Behold the fowls of the air, for they sow not, neither do they reap, nor gather into barns, yet your heavenly Father feedeth them. Are ye not much better than they? Which of you, by taking thought, can add one cubic unto his stature? And why take ye thought for raiment? Consider the lilies of the field, how they grow. They toil not, neither do they spin. And yet I say unto you that even Solomon in all his glory was not arrayed like one of these. Wherefore, if God so clothed the grass of the field, which today is, and tomorrow is cast into the oven, shall he not much more clothe you, O ye of little faith? Therefore take no thought, saying, What shall we eat? Or what shall we drink? Or wherewithal shall we be clothed? For after all these things do the Gentiles seek. For your heavenly Father knoweth that ye have need of all these things. But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Take therefore no thought for the morrow, for the morrow shall take thought for the things of itself sufficient unto the day is the evil thereof. Matthew 7 and 1 Judge not that ye be not judged, for with, the, for with what judgment ye judge, ye shall be judged, and with what measure ye meet, it shall be measured unto you again. And why beholdest thou the, the mote that is in thy brother's eye? And considereth not the beam that is in thine own eye? Or how wilt thou say to thy brother, Let me pull out the mote out of thine eye, and behold, a beam is in thine own eye? Thou hypocrite, first cast out the beam out of thine own eye, and then shalt thou see clearly to cast out the mote out of thy brother's eye. Give not that which is holy unto the dogs, neither cast ye your pearls before swine, lest they trample them under their feet and turn again and rend you. Matthew 7 and 7 Ask, and it shall be given you. Seek, and ye shall find. 
knock, and it shall be opened unto you. For everyone that asks receives, and he that seeketh findeth. And to him that knocketh it shall be opened. Or what man is there of you, whom, if he ask, if his son ask bread, will give him a stone? Or if he ask a fish, will he give him a serpent? If ye then, being evil, know how to give good gifts unto your children, how much more shall your Father which is in heaven give good things to them that ask him? Therefore, all things whatsoever ye, sh ye would that men should do to you, do ye even so to them. For this is the law and the prophets. Glory to God. Matthew 7 and 13. Enter ye in at the straight gate, for wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction, and many there be which go in thereat, because straight is the gate, and narrow is the way which leadeth unto life, and few there be that find it. Glory to God. Saints, these are just a few words of encouragement from our Bible promise book. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus, for your word. This is about God's protection. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous runneth into it and is safe. Proverbs 18 and 10. The angel of the Lord and campeth round about them that fear him, and delivereth them. Psalm 34 and 7. For the eyes of the Lord run to and fro throughout the whole earth, to show himself strong in the behalf of them whose heart is perfect toward him. Herein thou hast done foolishly, therefore from henceforth thou shalt have wars. 2 Chronicles 16 and 9 The Lord shall preserve thee from all evil. He shall preserve thy soul. The Lord shall preserve thy going out and thy coming in from this time forth and even forevermore. Psalm 121, 7 and 8 When thou liest down, thou shalt not be afraid. When thou shalt lie down, Thy sleep shall be sweet. Proverbs 3 and 24. And who is he that will harm you if ye be followers of that which is good? 1 Peter 3 13. The beloved of the Lord shall dwell safely by him, and the Lord shall cover him all the day long, and he shall dwell between his shoulders. Deuteronomy 13, Deuteronomy 33 and 12. And he shall not be afraid of evil tidings. His heart is fixed, trusting in the Lord. Psalm 112 and 7. Because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the Most High, thy habitation, there shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague Come nigh thy dwelling. Psalm 91, 9 and 10. But now that saith the Lord that created thee, O Jacob, and he that formed thee, O Israel, fear not, for I have redeemed thee. I have called thee by thy name. Thou art mine. When thou passest through the waters, I will be with thee, and through the rivers, they shall not overflow thee. When thou walkest through the fire, thou shalt not be burned, neither shall the flame kindle upon thee. Isaiah 43, 1 and 2. And they shall no more be a prey to the heathen, neither shall the beast of the land devour them. But they shall dwell safely, and none shall make them afraid. Ezekiel 34 and 28. But whoso hearkeneth unto me shall dwell safely, and shall be quiet from 
fear of evil. Proverbs 1, 33. I will both lay me down in peace and sleep, for thou, Lord, only makest me dwell in safety. Psalm 4 and 8. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? Psalm 27 and 1. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Beloved, I'm going to read about righteousness. For the Lord is a sun and shield. The Lord will give grace and glory. No good thing will he withhold from them that walk uprightly. Psalm 84, 11. The fear of the wicked, it shall come upon him, but the desire of the righteous shall be granted. Proverbs 10, 24. A good man obtaineth favor of the Lord, but a man of wicked devices will he condemn. Proverbs 12 and 2. He that trusteth in his riches shall fall, but the righteous shall flourish as a branch. Proverbs 11, 28. For thou, Lord, will bless the righteous with favor, wilt thou compass him as with the shield. Psalm 5 and 12. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. I'm going to read the scriptures about slander. Sometimes we go through life and glory to God. People have put a title on us and said things about us and ruined our name or maybe we've done something to ruin our own name. But this is what the scripture says about slander and reproach. Blessed are ye when men shall revile you and persecute you and say all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake. Rejoice and be exceeding glad, for great is your reward in heaven. And so, for so persecuted they the prophets which were before you. Matthew 5, 11 and 12. If ye be reproached for the name of Christ, happy are ye, for the spirit of glory and of God rests upon you. And on their part, he is evil spoken of, but on your part, he is glorified. 1 Peter 4 and 4. He shall send from heaven and save me from the reproach of him that would swallow me up. Selah. God shall send forth his mercy and his truth. Psalm 57 and 3. Hearken unto me, ye that know righteousness, the people in whose heart is my law. Fear ye not the reproach of men, neither be ye afraid of their revelings. Isaiah 51 and 7 Thou shalt hide them in the secret of thy presence from the pride of man. Thou shalt keep them secretly in a pavilion from the strife of tongues. Psalm 31 and 20 And he shall bring forth thy righteousness as the light and thy judgment as the noonday. Psalm 37 and 6 And ye shall be hated of all men for my name's sake. But he that endureth to the end shall be saved. Matthew 10 and 22 Saints, when you read something like that, is worth it all. Every tear, every hurt, every disappointment is worth it all. Glory to God to see Jesus in peace. When to read these scriptures, beloveds, out of all that we do and say, we must be born again. You say, evangelist, I'm nice. I do good things and, and uh, my name is over here and I have a, a plaque for this and a trophy for that. We must be born again. And these are the scriptures about repentance. The time is fulfilled and the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent ye and believe the gospel. Mark 1 and 15. Beloveds, I had a dream one time that I did not do the will of God. And I was uh, coming home or something and I had red paint 
red enamel paint on my hand. I said, what is this? I went to the water and I tried to rinse off that red enamel paint. And those of you that know about paint, you know you can't take enamel paint off of anything without some kind of paint thinner. And saints, I was so embarrassed to see that bright, rich red on my hand. And I, I tried to hide my hand, but only for so long. I was so humiliated and so embarrassed. And when I woke up, the Lord said, you didn't do what I told you to do. I told you that if you don't witness, if you don't tell people what I told you, their blood, glory to God, will be required at your hand. We don't know who God sends through our pathway and across our way. It could be the one you least expect. Glory to God. Sometimes it could be people that smell so terrible and you can't stand it. But that might be the very one he's sending by your way. Glory to God. It might be the person that looks so well, so healthy, so well dressed. It might be the very one that need to hear the word of God. The Lord is nigh unto them that are of a broken heart and save it such as be of a contrite spirit. Psalm 34 and 18. He healeth the broken in heart and bindeth up their wounds. Psalm 147 and 3. Repent ye therefore and be converted, that your sins may be blotted out when the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. Acts 3 and 19. Glory to God. I'm going to read the scriptures about salvation. Glory to God. In the name of Jesus. Jesus answered and said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, Except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Nicodemus saith unto him, How can a man be born when he is old? Can he enter the second time into his mother's womb and be born? Jesus answered, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, Except a man be born of water and of the Spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. That which is born of the flesh is flesh, and that which is born of the Spirit is spirit. Marvel not that I said unto thee, Ye must be born again. John 3, 3 through 7. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. All things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. 2 Corinthians 5, 17. For he hath made him to be sin for us, who knew no sin, that we might be made the righteousness of God in him. 2 Corinthians 5, 21. And you hath he quickened, who were dead in trespasses and sins. Ephesians 2 and 1 For this is good and acceptable in the sight of God our Savior. Glory to God, who will have all men to be saved and to come unto the knowledge of the truth. 1 Timothy 2, 3 and 4 Praise you, Jesus. My little children, these things I write unto you, that ye sin not. And if any man sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ the righteous. And he is the propitiation for our sins, and not for ours only, but also for the sins of the whole world. 1 John 2, 1 and 2. And you, being dead in your sins, and in the uncircumcision of your flesh, hath he quickened to gather him with him, having forgiven all you you all trespasses. Colossians 2.13 This is a faithful saying and worthy of all acceptation. For therefore we both labor and suffer reproach because we trust in the living God who is the Savior of all men, especially those that believe. 1 Timothy 4, 9 and 10 But not as the offense, so also is the free gift. For if through the offense of one, many be dead, much more the grace of God, and the gift by grace, which is by one man, Jesus Christ, hath the bounded unto many. Romans 5 and 15. Father, we thank you and praise you for your word that have gone forth. We know that many hear the word. It takes the power of God 
in our spirit, glory to God, to make the difference. I can read the words and they can go into your ear, but the spirit of the living God will bring this to life. Glory to God. Lord, we want people saved. We know that you would, that none would perish. We don't want our, our loved ones not to make it in. There's some loved ones that are not saved yet because they think they can do good things. It's not by works. It's not by anything that we could do, boast about. It is by you, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. We would that the power of God would come upon man and woman, teenagers, boys and girls that don't know you in the pardon of their sins, that there will be a godly sorrow, glory to God, that will come upon a man or woman or young person, glory to God, that would repent and say, Lord, I have sinned. Oh, God, would you forgive me today? Would you forgive me tonight? Would you take me where I am and cleanse me? I'm yours. I give myself to you. In the name of Jesus, glory to God. Everyone has a different way of coming to the Lord and asking for forgiveness. Glory to God. Whatever he gives you to do as he moves upon your life, glory to God. He's somebody to know. I tell you, I tell you, will it make you a millionaire because you get saved? No. Glory to God. Life will be different. It'll be better. All things become new. Yes. Glory to God. There is something about knowing the Lord down in the depths of your soul, in your spiritual walk with Him. Glory to God. This is not a physical walk. In the name of Jesus, you learn different things about how He is and who He is by and through His Word, going to church, plugging into the ministry. Some have home cell ministries. Some have large congregations. The Lord knows how to navigate you into where He wants you to be. I want you to be encouraged today and know that Jesus loves you. Glory to God in it all and through it all. He would that none would perish. Beloved, Jesus is coming back soon one day. He's a soon coming king and his reward is with him. He's going to judge every man according to the deeds that have been done in the body. You say, Vandas, I've heard that for a long time. It's true anyway. Glory to God. We talk about the different holidays coming. Surely they come. Keep living. Glory to God. I want you to know that I love you. Jesus loves you more. The Lord has opened this door for me to be on KTYM for many, many years. Our brother in the Lord, Brother Daryl, Minister Daryl told me the other day, he says it's been 26 years. I did not know that time had gone by that fast. I want you to know anyway, Jesus loves you. I love you. Jesus loves you more. Take courage. Angeles Charlotte Thomas. Send all correspondence to Charlotte Thomas, 6803 West Boulevard, Inglewood, California, 90302. Once again, that's Charlotte Thomas, KTYM Radio, 6803 West Boulevard, Inglewood, California, 90302.